Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about a topic which is close to, I think, a lot of your, your interests and it's whether or not you are, have left things too late. Uh, do you have enough eggs and will you still be able to fall pregnant? So if you want to find out the, the answer to those questions, stay watching. Um, I think we can start off with, you know, how many eggs do I have? And it's quite crazy if you have a look at how quickly we lose eggs or certainly how quickly women lose eggs. And this is a little graph to show you just over time how the egg number decreases. And we know that the maximum eggs is probably six to seven million eggs for both ovaries taken together at an intrauterine age of about 20 weeks. So when your mother was halfway through a pregnancy, you had the maximum number of eggs for your life. By the time you were born, that total number had reduced to one million. And by the time you hit puberty, on average, you had between 300 and 400,000 eggs left Put that another way, you lost 97% of your eggs before you could ever use one of them. And for the rest of your life, from puberty to age 51, which is the average age where you run out of eggs, which is called menopause, you lose a, the same number of eggs per month. And that carries on regardless of whether you're on the pill or whether you're pregnant. So there's no way of stopping that constant loss of eggs. And the question is always, well, have I left this too late? Am I running out of eggs? How many eggs do I have at the moment? Now, apart from time, is there anything else which can reduce your egg number? And the answer is yes, definitely. Doctors. Doctors are probably the worst thing that can happen to your eggs because we can operate your ovaries. So women that have had endometriosis taken out or burnt off their ovaries will often have damage of the, the collateral uh, area, of the unaffected area of their ovary and end up with less egg number. Um, women that have had cysts removed from their ovaries very often have damage to the surrounding unaffected tissue. Women that have had chemotherapy or radiotherapy. So all of these can add to the already uh, age-associated loss of egg number. Um, and that can obviously cause a big decline. 